Hey guys, welcome back to part 3 of my declutter today. We are going to continue with my eyeshadow, which I'm really excited about. And this is everything we decluttered last time. Really happy with my current progress and let's just get straight into it. I want to mention this is like my corner of shame. Everything I declutter, I'll put over to this side so you can still kind of see it, but it's not really in the process. So yeah, new day, new declutter, let's get to it. Now, I actually have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, so I'm just going to kind of do it by sections and talk it through. So I'll just grab whatever comes to me and yeah, we'll go with that. Let's first start with whatever's inside my advent calendar and then go through my box. Okay, I adjusted my camera a little bit so we should fit a bit more. This is all the palettes I have in my advent calendar situation. Let's just get through it. I do want to mention that these Pat McGrath palettes I will never declutter just because, first of all, I mentioned this in the past, it's so expensive and I do get a lot of use out of them. I think they're very, very sparkly and artistic and it's something that... I do like to reach for when I need a more fancy day, especially these glitters. They are absolutely incredible. I already know we're going to start a swatch fest, so let's get into it. This is my favorite shade from the entire Midnight Sun palette. It's just so sparkly. <gasps> are we seeing that? That is insane. It is just so gorgeous. You just always can capture your eye look in this shade. It is so pretty. And I also really enjoy this periwinkle. It's just a beautiful metallic it's one of those that feels a bit hard to to touch but essentially it still blends out to something really beautiful and look at that shimmer it's also much more pigmented it has a stronger base it's really really pretty i love using this in the colder months and it is a palette i will keep so let's put that here for now and same with bond seduction this is my favorite one out of the two uh, because it's more wearable for every single day and I just find that I can pop a glitter and call it a day I also love this ruby shade it's just the same one as a periwinkle it's a bit harder that metallic but extremely pigmented and it has a strong base to it so look at that so so pretty and it is a true ruby metallic it is so nice and what I love about the Pat McGrath bronze seduction palette is that these are duo and multi-chrome you can see this is blue it even turns green there's this green yellow and this is like a pink shift they are just so pretty oh i really want to swatch this one for you guys look at that it's like this yellow green gold it is so pretty i absolutely adore it let's just swatch this one as well they're very similar on the eyes, if I'm being honest, but this is a bit more gold green. It's a very beautiful palette, and I do like the mattes in this one a bit better. This is the only shade I have issue with. It's a little bit of a hard pan, but so I have to press quite hard into it. But honestly, it's this beautiful bronze with a little bit of a glitter topper shimmer to it. I really do like it. It's a one-and-done shadow, in my opinion. It smells really pretty as well. I really enjoy using it. So these two, not decluttering, going to put back up here and also the anastasia this is like a nostalgia product because anastasia was really the start of me loving makeup and these two palettes really just started my makeup journey for me norvina is a palette i do love a lot and i enjoy the color story and the formula i find the norvina metallics to be insanely pigmented and rich and just absolutely gorgeous let's get a little bit of this celestial shade so pretty and swatch that for you guys look at that it's so rich as well and the shimmers are gorgeous i really love the norvina palettes metallics they are awesome the mattes are a little bit more like fallouty they have a lot more fallout and kickback in the pan but honestly really great one i really enjoy this one i should probably use it a bit more and the classic soft glam is one of those palettes that Honestly, you cannot hate. The packaging is a bit messy, especially as I swatch all over the place. This one, the mattes are a lot more stable in my opinion, but the metallics are a little bit more like, they, they're not as insanely pigmented, but they're still really pretty, especially this shade, Sultry. Oh my gosh. It is so soft. That is one thing I find about ABH's formulas, especially the metallics, is that they're really soft and they focus on pigmentation a lot. It really is just a perfect neutral palette. I really enjoy using this one and I think it is one of the most thought out palettes ever created. So I really enjoy these and I'm going to keep it so let's move it up here. 
these are my nine pants and my quads that I just reach. I don't have enough space in my original box, you guys. If you have been watching me for a while, you know I have a box for my eyeshadow, but unfortunately my collection's getting a bit large. So let's get into it. First of all, my pillow talk quads, they are so dreamy. This is the original pillow talk, and here we have pillow talk dream which is a little bit of a darker color story honestly i do find these quite different this one is more like pinky and like a cool tone situation whereas pillow talk dreams is more like a chocolate so it's kind of not that pink kind of cool neutral anymore it's more warm and i do find the formulas to be really really pretty i do enjoy them a lot I think the Pillow Talk Dream is actually much more smoother than mattes and the shimmers are a bit more pigmented too. Let me swatch it for you guys. Let's just watch three because I only have three fingers. Look how rich these are. Like, Okay, look at that. Really, really pretty. I really enjoy the formula. I think it's really, really nice. It blends really easy. And I just think in comparison, the original pillow talk is much more muted and softer as a formula but i don't think that's bad that's not necessarily a bad thing it's just depending on your preference so for example for everyday wear i would enjoy my pillow talk a little bit more look at that still really really pretty let's just compare these two instantly we can see that this one's a lot darker this one's a lot more neutral and everyday this is more for like a smoky look or if you have a deeper skin tone this one is for those who are a bit more fair and just want a subtle bit of color so this is more for like a night out this is more like for everyday in my opinion there's really no i guess one that's better it's just depending on your preference and for me I do actually prefer the original pillow talk. I want to do a comparison on these two actually because the formula I do realize that is a bit different and even the size of product, I'm pretty sure you get more product in the original, I mean the new pillow talk dreams. You get 6 grams and you get 5.2 here so that's something but I do enjoy these and I think this is what made me feel like why pillow talk is so hyped because it is so wearable for every single day and Charlotte Tilbury makes gorgeous products so definitely keeping these two. Next, I want to talk about the Romand. Which one is this? I think it's Dry Mango Tulip. It's 01. It's a beautiful quad, and I think it's a really nice dupe for the Tom Ford Disco Dust. The color story is very similar, and the formula is, in my opinion, just a little bit better, actually, because I hate the metallics in the Tom Ford. It's just if you watch my which Tom Ford quad you should get, you'll see me hating on the formula. But anyway, this is one that I think is a really beautiful color story, but I just don't reach for. I do have a lot of shades that are similar, and yeah, it's just one that I do not go for. I've let this stay in my collection for a while, gave it some reasons, but I never reached for it, so it's time to say goodbye. Here is my Can Make Silky Souffle Eye. This is in the shade 10. It is a beautiful all-metallic palette it gives beautiful shimmer i feel like it is a really great dupe for honeymoon again from tom ford it is a beautiful stunning palette but that being said again i don't reach for it i would prefer my tom ford quad in sell this one and yeah it's just one that doesn't get enough love in my collection i do find the glitter to be a little intense so i do have to use another matte shadow in conjunction with this one whenever i make a look so i'm going to let this one go as well this is the NARS Climax palette and when this came back in stock, let me tell you, I went crazy for it because it was out of stock for a long time. It's limited edition and I was thinking about, I was like, should I buy it or not? You know, like 90 bucks for, this is a little bit expensive. Um, came back in stock at Mecca, snatched it up because I couldn't stop thinking about it. And let me just say, this is the best decision I've ever made because I love this palette. Can't really see, but I have used this a lot and every single shade I absolutely adore. Like this olive green, the tone, they just got it so right. It is so pretty. And oh, this midnight blue metallic, so smoky and gorgeous for every single day. And oh, which one should I? This golden shimmer, again, so bling. And it's just one of the best formulas I've ever used. NARS makes one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. Oh God, that is a really ugly swatch, but... Can we see just the amount of pigment, how easy it is, how buttery smooth it just blends onto your 
face, <laughs> eyes, whatever. I'm just lost for words. I'm looking at the sparkles and shimmers and I am in love. And these are some of the best formulas I have ever used. It is just so beautiful. It lasts all day. And NARS, honestly, one of those brands that I don't think you can find a product from this brand that you do not like. It is just so good. Their formula is top notch and one of my favorites for a reason. This palette, so pretty for a smoky and sultry eye. I cannot get enough of it. And the thing is, you can actually use these darker shades as a light tone as well. So it doesn't have to be really insane. It's just gorgeous. Highly recommend a NARS eyeshadow palette to have in your collection. Now let's move on to some of my 3CE palettes. So I have two of these eyeshadow palettes here just because the other one is in the tray. But this is the Delightful palette. Yes, Delightful. It's mostly shimmer and this is Overtake. Very, very viral one. This is a warm orange toned autumn kind of color story. It is just really pretty. And again, like I said in many videos in the past, 3CE makes one of the best powders. And this is just perfection again super pigmented considering it is a korean brand but it also stays all day and you can definitely play around with the pigment so you can see if it really just is what you want or do you want it to be a bit lighter like look at that that is insane and the mattes with shimmers also blend so easily and the satin shades are also really nice to give your eyes a little bit of sheen it is just so beautiful. I really love this palette. I definitely recommend it. And this palette is more like K-Beauty-esque. You have more like those pink tones. I feel like pink is just one of those really popular colors in Asian beauty. You have more like your chunkier glitters and you also have your finer glitters. This is just a beautiful palette as an add-on on top of whatever you have going on. And look at that. The chunky glitters definitely stick a little bit more. They have more for like intense looks. But look at the finer glitter. That looks so pretty, am I right? It is just gorgeous. I really like this as an add-on palette. And, oh, I'm looking at this shade. Let's swatch this one. Oh, the pink. Oh, no. I got the pink in there. Anyway. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? That looks... Oh, my gosh. That looks like that's like a galaxy on your hand. That is so pretty. It's reminiscent of the Fenty, but... These two are gorgeous, really, really enjoy those. And now we have some of my Darcy palettes. Uh, looking at them now in the pan, they look like they're the same palettes in different fonts, which they are. But, oh, they're just so good, I just really like them. This is the latest one in my collection. This is Almond Vanilla, I'm pretty sure. Almond Vanilla. It's an ice cream themed palette and look at these scoops, they are gorgeous, so so pretty and they really up their formula with this one, it's really soft, really easy to use, really enjoy it and as always their glitters are phenomenal, so let's swatch their glitters, it is very soft so once you press it you can see the dome going down a little bit, um, but yeah it is just a really really beautiful formula. Look at that, very fine, it adheres to the skin really well, really enjoy that. And I do get a lot of use out of it. It's just like one of these palettes. I feel like Darcy is one of those nude, neutral palettes you can use for every single day. And I do prefer my browns, so definitely I use these a lot. And you can get a full face out of it. This is the first one I got, this is Autumn Breeze. Beautiful, beautiful shimmers and glitters. It's the one that made me fall in love with the brand, it is just so pretty. They're so finely milled and just absolutely gorgeous. But Chocolate Fudge will always be my favorite, especially this shade. You can see how much I have used it. It is just oh, so, so pigmented and it just lasts all day and transforms your look. It is so pretty. Also, my fingernail is blue because I was in a lecture. I was getting bored, so I used my blue felt tip pen to draw on it. It's not some weird fungal disease, don't worry. It's just blue felt tip. But... Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. I'm in love with these palettes. Definitely recommend Darcy eyeshadow palette. I think these two are the more pigmented ones. This is more K-Beauty-esque. It's more like a wash of color. Their mattes blend nicely, but just because they are so light, sometimes you can't tell a distinction, distinct, distinction between all of them. Wow, I got tongue-tied there. But yeah, really beautiful palettes. Now let's move on to my Tom Ford palettes. Let's put these away first. As you guys know, I do collect a lot of Tom Ford. I have six of them in my collection. And let's just 
get to it. The first one is Rose Topaz, and I gave a lot of crap to this palette in the past just because I feel like it's too light, but now it's in the winter, my skin tone is so much lighter. I actually do use this a lot for easy makeup days, so I have been getting a lot of use out of this one, and I do like it. It makes my makeup look really good. It's in Chinese, it's called like the sparkling water look where you don't really look like you have any eyeshadow or any makeup on, just very clear and bubbly and beautiful, shimmery situation, and this gives a perfect look like that. I really enjoy this one. Let's just open it up for display because why not um the next one is honeymoon and if you guys watched my ranking all my tom ford eyeshadow palettes this did come number one because i get the most use out of it the formula is my favorite i love this baked dry formula it is so pretty i love this ruby shade and it just oh so so pigmented did we see that one swipe wonder um forgot to do a swatch here but let's do a swatch of this super sparkly this is my favorite look at that so so pretty really nice and let's just go for this one this dark matte is really really pigmented it's beautiful look at that blends like a dream really really stunning love this palette so much um and I also do love this Honeymoon palette, not decluttering these. Next up, we have the very famous Sue La Salle, which is described as an everyday kind of smoky but wearable neutral. This is more cool tone, and I do really like the mattes. I think the Tom Ford mattes are one of the best mattes ever created. I think they're just really easy to use, and look at that. Blends so beautifully. It's so silky and pretty. Build up the t pigmentation is easy. Build up for the pigmentation is so easy as well. You also have the metallics, which give a subtle shine as well. Very, very pretty palette. That being said, I do not use this a lot because I don't prefer cool tones, and I feel like this just doesn't have too much deviation on my eyes when I wear it. So I am actually going to declutter this one and let this one move on from my collection. But that being said, let's just put it here for display for now because it looks pretty. This is Disco Dust and this is a beautiful color story. <sighs> These two, the formulas, yikes. Hate it. Like, let me show you guys this. Looks pigment today. Has a little bit of shimmer. Should be gorgeous. And then we give it a little swatch and it turns into Patchy City. It is... We can even see the patchiness. It is really bad. It's so hard to blend out and it's just, ugh. Like, what are you doing? This is a hundred something dollars. It better work really well. But that being said, this is the best shimmer I have used from the Tom Ford line. It is so finely milled and gorgeous. Let's just, oh my gosh, so pretty, am I right? This is so, so pretty but sometimes the formula just gets to me so i usually just wet this and use it as an eyeliner base and it works i can use it i do love this tone though it just works really well as a setting and transition shade and this one is really pretty for just a slight hint of playfulness in your eye look so i am keeping this because i love the color story and yeah that one shimmer shade really speaks to me Next, we have Body Heat. This is another baked dry formula. Really pretty, more for cool tones. This is very elegant. It is one of those palettes you can make a full like look with. Uh, like This is a beautiful, beautiful shimmer shade. Let me just swatch a little bit of that for you. Let's swatch it here. Look at that. It's really nice for highlighting the face. This one's great for deepening and this is for smoking it up and this will be liner. But these two look very, very similar. You cannot tell the difference once you apply it onto the face. This one's more shimmery. This one's more like metallic. But either way, it doesn't have enough difference to justify having two shades like this in the palette. And because, again, it's cool toner, I don't get a lot of use out of it. If I want a baked dry formula, I would just go for my honeymoon. And this one does get neglected. So I'm going to say goodbye to this one. I'm being very cutthroat today. I think I want to just minimize my collection as much as possible right now. That is my only goal and I don't even want to keep it because it's Tom Ford. I need to be more cutthroat like this. But the last one in my collection is De La Creme. It's a beautiful warm brown and I feel like this is quite special for Tom Ford. They don't really have any brown shades if you have a look. They have more like, I guess, 
pinkier undertone so this is a true brown yellow mustard color this is stunning i really like it these two they don't have a strong shimmer to them but they do lighten the look i think it's quite cohesive and again my mattes are adored i love the tom ford mattes so i am going to keep this one so yeah i think out of the six palettes i do enjoy them and i really enjoy the fact i got great use out of them but it is time for them to move on from my collection i think the four that I am keeping, so I want to get these two decluttered. The four I am keeping do still have all the formulas that I love and use. So this is still a great collection. It's still good for me to, you know, do reviews in the future. So yeah, gonna say goodbye to these two. Before we move on, I'm gonna go wash off these swatches on my hand and we will be right back. Oh my gosh, that's the rest of my eyeshadow palettes. Let's get on with the declutter. Okay, cool. So these are the rest of my eyeshadow palettes. There is actually quite a bit here, so let's just unpack it together. Let's start with the single shadows. I only have two single shadows now. They are from Colourpop, both of them. This is the shade Frog. Is this not the most mesmerizing thing in the world? Look at the shimmers. Urgh, I'm in love with it. So aggressive when it comes to shimmers. But this, yeah, I couldn't wash off all my eyeshadow palettes remnants um swatches earlier so we'll just have to deal with it but oh, look at that that is the most dreamy glitter ever the shifts of blue pink yellow everything it is just so stunning and i love the super shock formula it is insanely easy to use it's like a putty and i just love this one never decluttering it unless it expires gets old and hard pans but yeah definitely want to use this up asap just because it does hard pan easily and another super shock this is from the bt21 collection this is fluffy and hungry and again it's this beautiful watercolor and what i love about this shade is that it does have a little bit of a base to it so you can use it in conjunction with your other yellow eyeshadows this one's less sparkly compared to frog but it has those beautiful golden tones and for reality i did buy this because of bts and also Jin. he is my bias and this was the only one left because it was sold out so quickly so that is that love these two i do use them quite a bit and just close enough to that let's talk about the kaja bento eyeshadows in size they're very similar to the ColourPop one just a little bit taller and yeah that's just something i wanted to mention these are very viral right now they are i think for good reason they're really pretty um eyeshadow so you get three eyeshadows in here in three different formulas usually mine is in the shade peach madeline and what you get first is a beautiful beautiful peachy matte so you can use for just your base look at that it is very pretty quite muted as an eyeshadow which i think is fine but the thing is this builds up to an insane pigment so be careful a little goes a long way actually and then you have a more fine traditional glitter oh my god so dreamy again looks just like frog it feels a little bit like i would say a 3ce formula but again look at that shimmer it is so pretty can we see that it's definitely not as bling as frog but also really really nice really love this one as well um this one's a very fine glitter and then you have a chunky glitter this is almost a foil shade and this is like a true golden color look at that it's definitely not as glittery but definitely it has that metallic punch if you want it for the center of your face very golden very pretty keep on looking back at frog it's just too nice and you get the most satisfying click when you close it love this really pretty and conventional convenient not conventional it's very unconventional actually but now i'm just going to literally grab one and talk about it so let's start first with the mint checkbook this is so cute i love the idea of this and you also get like a little flap to prevent the palette shadow from going everywhere but i really do like this one i love the blush i use all three of these as blushes actually and i just think this is a really easy to use palette and something that gives me more confidence to use color because the mint shade here is actually really really pretty for just a little topper situation i have a lot of glitters going on here but look at that it's quite transparent but you also do get that 
shine and i just think it's a really pretty base for i mean it's really pretty on any base you can use it with any shadow so it's very easy to use choco chip is a bit more like chunkier which i don't use a lot so this one gets a little bit neglected in this palette but still quite pretty i do enjoy it a lot and overall just a really pretty palette just want to mention that the shade cork even though it's really dark it's actually not that pigmented so that's something to be aware of it's more like for darkening but it doesn't really ever build up to a black the shimmers also aren't super obvious but overall i do get a lot of use out of it especially for a light makeup day so i will keep this one really enjoy it next up i have the hints eyeshadow palette this is like a scene this is a new depth eyeshadow palette and i have been using this one so so much I always want to incorporate more colors into my everyday eyeshadow and this green does it for me. I mentioned this in my favorites of 2023 but this is the perfect neutral. This adds some smoky and color to it. It's just a very well thought out color you know, scheme and I do love the formula a lot. The mattes blend so incredibly easy. They feel very buttery. The um, shimmers are insane they are so pretty and oh let's watch the screen we have to this is the star of the show look at that easy to blend look at that shimmer it is insane and oh, that green is so pretty it's like a grassy color but once you blend it out into something a bit more sheer it's really really subtle really really easy to use as well i really like it Ugh, I kind of messed up my swatches there, but I really do like this one. And also, I do want to mention the darker shades do have a lot of pigmentation. This is a metallic, and it works great. Look at that. That is really, really pretty. I do love using this one to deepen my look, and I just find this palette to be such an all-rounder and really, really beautiful. Absolutely adore it, and I highly recommend Hints Eyeshadow. This is the Narcissus palette by NARS and it is the most beautiful warm color scheme. I love it. I, to be honest, don't use this a lot just because I never think about reaching for it for some reason, even though I love the formula and everything to it. I just, I don't know, there's something about it I, that doesn't draw me in as much, but these formulas are absolutely stunning and so, so pretty. They blend like a dream and... Oh, there's nothing not to love about NARS eyeshadow. They are just so, so pretty. Look at that foiled shade. I really need to use this more and definitely keeping it in my collection. Really like it. The newer one in my collection is the Roman Bare Layer. This is in Apricot. It's a very, very nude kind of color. And I do like the formula for this one. It's very soft. But the only complaint is that these three shades are very similar. I know this is meant to be a blush, but truth be told you know like you can use all of them for eyeshadow so it doesn't really matter and i don't know i feel like there's not much color deviation in this palette as opposed to some other parts i have um you do get browns but again these browns they're basically the same as my contour shades and the formula is very similar i do like romance eyeshadow powder formula but I don't know, I just never reach for this one and I don't feel inspired by it, it just looks very light and all I can get is a pink look, it will never look much different. But that being said, I really like this shimmer. It is like, it's like frog actually, it's very similar. Look at that, it's very fine, it's very glittery and beautiful, but I just never reach for this palette and I feel like it's not getting enough love in my collection so I am going to declutter this. OG NARS Obsession Ignited Eyeshadow Palette. Holy goodness, this is just so perfect. Wish they had a few more mattes, but um, yoohoo, how pretty is this? This is insane. I love it. I love the multi-dimensional glitters. I love the metallics, how just when you blend it out, it can look like a satin and matte. It is just so pretty. I love this eyeshadow palette. Two bits. I do need to use it a little bit more and definitely have to reach for it because... This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and I love it. Let's swatch some colors. I really want to swatch this shade for you guys. This is a beautiful shimmer. Oh, let's go for one of these satins. I can show you guys how easy it blends and let's go for this ruby shade. I really like these. This is very reminiscent of Brother Seduction, by the way. Look at that. So pretty. Looks really, really nice. Look at that satin. Gives a beautiful sheen and that glitter. 
holy cow that is so so pretty it is such a beautiful palette the formula they just did something right with it i absolutely adore it and cannot get enough of it so yeah definitely keeping that one let's go with this palette this is one of my latest palettes in my collection this is cleo scoop of shade it's a beautiful strawberry ice cream shade color story and look at that who can say no to this packaging and indent? It is so pretty. And there's a waffle and melting ice cream. You got me there. And what I love about this is, even though it looks very light, it actually does have a lot of depth. That's something I find about this palette is that there's a lot of hidden pigmentation within it. And it is just gorgeous. You can use this as like a slight blending contour shade, blush and highlight. And then these for your eyeshadow. Again, this shade and that one. Mm, and that one's very similar, but this one's a bit more cool. So I let it slide and this shade is Kind of like a more toned down version of that these two are both meant to be kind of iridescent shades Um, but yeah, let me just swatch it for you guys So this is meant to be the highlighter shade It's meant to give a very subtle gleam onto your cheeks and this is the iridescent pink We can see the iridescent is much stronger it definitely makes your eyeshadow look a little bit more unique. It's very fun and I feel very youthful when I use it. I do like how there are more tonal variations in this compared to the Roman palette. So keeping this one, I do need like a pink palette in my collection. Everything else is way too brown. Oh, here we are. The rest of my Cleo palettes. These are the more traditional 10 pans that they're known for. This is Napping Cheese, the most beautiful nude color story this has a bit more peachiness to it i just really love it again the indents so stunning the glitters beautiful 10 out of 10 palettes i really like it just wish it had a bit more of a darker brown in here this one looks dark on camera but when you saw me use it in my cleo co shorts video it's a little bit light it doesn't build up the way i want to because it's so soft and the pigmentation is not that insane but overall really pretty palette let's swatch the glitters Oh, the matte with shimmer is also really, really pretty. Look at that glitter. Just so smooth, so easy to use. I absolutely adore this palette. It is so nice. Let's do the white glitter as well. Look at that. That is just so pretty, isn't it? Love this palette. Definitely recommend Kaleo eyeshadow palettes. This is Street Brick. Very, very, I guess, burgundy tone and it's stunning. And oh, there's just something special about this palette. I really enjoy the color story. And I think it's one that you can definitely use for any look. You have a very deep burgundy shade, which is beautiful. And you have a wide variety of mattes, etc. And I do like this kind of drier glitter. It just indicates that it's more finely milled and more reflective. Look at that. It's really, really pretty. I do enjoy this palette a lot. I don't use it enough, but I do think I can justify my collection because it's a more unique formula. And I'm um, color story, not formula. Next is Brown Shoe. We can see how much I love it through that pan. I really enjoy this. Hoping to hit pan on this metallic, but this is what introduced me to clear eyeshadow palettes, and it is just so beautiful. The mattes are like butter. It is smooth like butter. Um, and <laughs> I'm cringing at myself, but this is one of the most beautiful mattes. And I think it's so beginner friendly as well, because it's not super pigmented. You can blend it out. You can build up. Everything is just gorgeous. Really, really do love this and nothing wrong with these palettes. So keeping all of these, Cleo is one of my favorite brands for sure. Sailor Moon. Yoohoo, I love this. It's a beautiful, fun color story. Very pastel, very, you know, like spring and summertime. I do like this palette a lot and I actually do reach for it when I want like a subtle color. I just take the ever so slight amount and dab it onto my eyes and I have some color, feel great. These are good transition shades and setting shades, these three, and the rest you can just play around with the color. I don't use this. This is a pressed glitter just because it's a bit chunky, but yeah. Overall, I do like this palette and I will keep it also for nostalgia, but also I do like the color story and Colourpop makes great eyeshadows. So these do wear a long time, very smooth and silky. I especially love this bright pink. It's just really fun. It's not something I necessarily wear a lot, but it's really pretty to look at and just to add to your eyeshadow to make it more intense. We can see how insane the pigmentation are. It is so pretty, but if you just take 
a really fluffy brush in a little bit you can just like dab it onto your eyes and it gives a little bit of pinkness to it which is really pretty as well this is the shade silver millennium i really like this i think this is like a super shock formula because it is so soft and it feels like a putty it's beautiful it has great white gold kind of shimmers to it really enjoy it so keeping this one in my collection next we're moving on to more colourpop this is making mode it's my favorite palette out of all the colourpop palettes something they did with the mattes are just incredible and you have two reminiscent of super shock shadows it is pigmented it is shimmery and look at that gorgeous i haven't used this a lot this year just because i don't know i'm into my warm tones and pinks not really my moves but i need to pull this out sometime really enjoy this and it just blends like a dream i also surprisingly really like this shade just as an all over it is it looks like a white kind of bone shade but it actually turns out to be very purple and lavender it's really really beautiful it has a lot of depth to it and i really enjoy this palette i feel like i have a lot of creative freedom with this one and i do like this chunky purple as well it's a little bit daunting but whenever i put it on i feel like it really elevates my look look at that it's very very sticky though it's more like a chunkier sticky vaseline texture but i do enjoy it and i do see another color pop palette wedged in here let's just get through that one this is off court true smoky gray palette and i love this one i think i really need like a gray tone eyeshadow palette in my collection i don't really have that right now and these two browns just make it a little bit less daunting to use and i do love this shade rock on oh my goodness this is so stunning this is a matte with shimmer in it and it is so pigmented and pretty it makes my look just much more fun i feel like it's a one and done shadow if you want a really smoky punk look i really like the shade or it's this true metallic it's just a true gray as well really really pretty let me just swatch it here for you guys Ugh, it's right on my wrist which is a little bit ugly but it is a beautiful gray tone palette amazing for smoky looks and i feel like it's something that completes my collection so keeping that one the last ColourPop palette is so jaded. This is such a colourful palette. Honestly, I keep it because I think it just satisfies all my colour story needs if I need to reach for a colourful palette. So I'm keeping it for that reason, but I do love the formulas and everything in here is just so pretty. Um, very standard ColourPop formula. I do enjoy it tons. Let me really quickly swatch some of my favourites that I have been using lately. I do love the shade Diamond, but I haven't used it a lot lately just because I have Frog and that one is so pretty. This is a Super Shock with a beige tone. Really stunning. Look at that. Ah, oh, so pretty, but that's not the one I've been using. The one I've been using a lot lately in colourful looks is actually Turquoise. This is... I feel like a more aquamarine shade it has a hint of green to it and teal it's just so pretty again insanely pigmented it has a more dry touch to it but it's really pretty i do enjoy it tons and another one i've been reaching for a lot is this one amatrine i think it's a matte with shimmer it's this beautiful kind of figgy tone color that is really similar to making most but just a tad darker and i love using it as a one and done eyeshadow palette very very creative um and gives me a lot of freedom to use it however i want to keeping this one next is a palette that has in my collection for a while now this is this original soap and revolution palette again it's so beautiful i think it's one of the best if not the best drugstore eyeshadow palette it's so well thought out the formula is incredible and amazing that being said it's been in my collection for a very long time and i think it's time for me to let it go still really pretty but I do have my So Jaded, I have other palettes I reach for more and similar colour story. The only one I think is really special is this shade. I don't really have a dupe, this is like this brown blue multi-chrome, but I do think I can layer it with a brown shadow and that midnight blue shimmer from my NARS Climax. So I really enjoy this, but time to let it go, it's a little bit old. Next we have my Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette. I really adore this. It is a just brown neutral warm tone lovers dream love the way it's set out as well it's like matte shimmers <laughs> it's really easy to use except for these two mattes with shimmers i'm a bit confused about those two but it's really pretty i love these two creams i still haven't found a way to use the creams that really is the most i guess smart but either way i do enjoy this palette a ton and yeah i really like the glitters in this so let's just do a little bit of a swatcheroo 
This is a beautiful pigmented shimmer and this one is great for layering. I love these two. And the mattes, I just want to show you guys how pigmented they are. It is really easy to use as well. It's really easy to blend. I really love it. Let's go with that. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty and it adheres to skin so well. It's easy to blend, but hello, that matte is insane. It is so, so pigmented. Absolutely love this one. I do enjoy this a lot and I think it's one of my favorite neutral eyeshadow palettes. I always reach for this one. Let me actually swatch one of the creams for you. It's very, very oily and malleable, but it's also insanely pigmented, which can be a little bit scary. Look at that. It looks like chocolate just melted, but it's really easy to blend out and a little goes a very long way. Look at that. Insane, right? Do love this palette. Highly recommend if you like the color story. It's a little bit pricey, but worth it, and you can definitely get this on sale usually. Okay, everything's a bit of a mess now, but we're up to our final four palettes to go through. Let's go through the Wake Make. Again, beautiful neutral palette. I really enjoy this one, and I do like how you do have a duo kind of for your cheeks to make everything blend really easily. I do like it. It's very easy to use. The formula is smooth and soft. I do like the three little shimmers and metallics kind of formula you get in here. Very versatile. I do not use it enough. That is one thing for sure. And I highly recommend trying this brand out. It's really, really pretty. I do like this shimmer for like insane glitter looks because it's so chunky. Let me show you where it is. This is probably not eye safe, but you can probably put it on your cheekbones for like festivals and stuff. It's really, really fun. I enjoy this a lot. And the mattes actually are super pigmented. They're very smooth and easy to use. Look at that. It just blends really easily. Really love this palette, so I'm keeping that one. Now let's move on to Dear Dahlia. This is a brand that I'm experimenting with, and I really enjoy this. This is a Love Spell eyeshadow quad. Very pretty, um, kind of reminiscent of Pillow Talk. You do get one matte and three metallic slash shimmers. These shimmers are all insanely smooth and really soft to the touch and really pigmented as you can see. The matte also blends really easily. There is just nothing wrong with this palette, I don't think. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It is so pigmented and pretty and you still have a lot left on your fingers. It is just one of the best eyeshadow quads that I've seen from K-Beauty. It is really pretty. I do not know if I'm a big fan of the fact there's only one matte. Maybe if another one was in there, it will be better. But overall, I do enjoy this a lot. And I think I can get a lot of use out of it. So keeping this one. And I do love this water marble kind of situation here on the lid. It's very... Let's talk about my 3CE. Look at those pans. I love this palette. If you can't tell already, I use this a lot. It's just a no-brainer. I can use this for any look and it will work. It's just great. I love these two too. Like, I love these two for brows, this one for eyeliner, and everything just works so well. It is such an all-rounder, well-thought-out palette. If you have a yellow warm tone, you will love this palette. It is just so easy to use. The mattes blend incredibly, and this is what made me fall in love with the 3CE formula. I absolutely adore it. It is just something special, I think. I feel like a lot of people neglect all matte palettes just because, you know, we're all human crows to some point. We love the glitters and shimmers, but this is a foundation palette you can use for any single look, and it will just save the day. It is absolutely amazing. You can pair it with anything. You can use it by itself. Sometimes I like to opt for an all matte look, and this is what I go for. It's absolutely incredible. And last but not least is the latest in my collection. This is the Unleasia All of Coral Pink. If you guys saw it, this came in the kit with Stylevana. And I absolutely, wow. Just, let's take a moment. See, this is what I mean by we're all human crows. We love the glitters. We love the shifts. But do we really need it all the time? Probably not. But it sure makes us feel happy. And look at these they are just incredible i do like the formula the matte with shimmer is also really easy to use there are some glittery more chunkier mattes um glitters my bad and there's more finely milled shimmers it is just so pretty i'm running out of space to swatch but let's go for it here one two oh look at that that's very very chunky three ah <gasps> It's really pigmented too. It's just really easy to use. And the mattes are surprisingly really pretty too. Let me just swatch it on my pinky here. 
bam it's really really easy to use you can definitely build up the pigment it looks a little bit more daunting in the pan looks a bit dark but when you swatch it you can see it's not that bad and i do like this it's a color story i do use a lot so definitely keeping that but that concludes all my eyeshadow declutters okay guys so that is a roundup of my eyeshadow declutters i didn't do an amazing job but i did get rid of some which i'm really proud of and from a variety of different price points i think it's good that i'm getting real palettes i know i wouldn't necessarily reach for for example body heat and sula sub i know i wouldn't get enough use out of them so you know say goodbye to these and same with these not enough variation and i have better formulas so yeah i think this isn't bad getting rid of five palettes edits i decluttered six eyeshadow palettes i forgot about this one but that is the declutter correct one let's get back to the ending of the video well we could do a little bit better but i'm learning i'm trying to be better and less of a hoarder but that is it for my eyeshadow declutter i hope you guys enjoyed it and liked my collection i definitely think my arms need a little bit of a break but we will be back for the next part which will be my lips um lip gloss lip tints lip everything um so stay tuned for that and that'll be my last part of my declutter thank you guys so much for being on my journey so far i hope you really learned to not hoard that much makeup you don't need that many i'm just a collector i have horrible spending habits so don't be like me but if you did like it please give it a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys for the final part